This video is brought to you by GoFiber Hair Building Fibers. Pick up your free sample and get instant hair confidence. Start your transformation today. Hey, what is up guys, Matt here. And in this video, I decided to show you how I'm managing my hair loss with Oral Finas Stride for just $10 per year, okay? Uh, this is not a clickbait. I decided to do this video for all you guys who have already tried many of the anti-hair loss treatments uh, and they didn't work at all or they did work just a little bit. Um, and that's why uh, this is gonna be like the best bang for the buck that you can find on the hair loss uh, market uh, nowadays that is also gonna be really effective for the money that you are gonna spend on this here so there are gonna be two things that we will need uh, number one of course it's gonna be Proscar these are tablets which contain five milligrams uh, of finasteride as active ingredient in them uh, they're much less expensive uh, as opposed to other brands like Propecia or other finasteride brands the tablets that only contain like one milligram of finasteride we're going to be cutting them first in four pieces so we will end up with 1.25 milligram of finasteride per each piece and then i'm going to attempt to cut them also in eight pieces uh, to kind of uh, come on to 0.62-ish uh, milligrams of finasteride per each piece, okay? Uh, it's going to be a little bit challenging, you will see, you will see the pros and cons of that, uh, but it's going to be uh, very useful for many of you. Uh, the second thing that you will need is some type of laboratory scale that is sensitive enough uh, to measure uh, the weight in milligrams, okay? It has to be pretty precise. Now, uh, why I got these Proscar tablets so cheap? Uh, simply, I visited Turkey last time and I decided to visit a local pharmacy uh, where I could get this uh, without needing a prescription. And I just bought it for like 40 Turkish liras, uh, this one packaging, uh, which is equivalent of five to six US dollars. So it's pretty cheap. So I spent like, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe $30 and I load it up on, on Proscar so I have enough for like two two something years. Me meanwhile, I will probably visit Turkey again, so it's fine. Okay, so uh, depends on where you live. Uh, you'll probably need to have prescription uh, or not, uh, or you will be able to just get it uh, from your local pharmacy also for a cheaper price. If you are in the US, probably it's gonna be slightly more expensive, but still Proscar is generally less expensive as opposed to other finasteride brands like Propecia, okay? Uh, again, this video doesn't constitute any medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a licensed medical professional, so just uh, see it for educational and informational and entertainment purposes only. Okay, uh, let's start. That's how the Proscar packaging looks like, and each packaging contains 28 uh, blue-like apple-shaped film-coated tablets. Each tablet weighs about 155 milligrams, out of which there is only 5 milligrams uh, active ingredient finasteride, and next to it you have a whole bunch of inactive ingredients, which I'm going to list here for you, okay? First, we're going to be cutting this tablet in four pieces. That's going to leave us with uh, 1.25 uh, milligrams of finasteride active ingredient per each piece. And each piece should weigh about 40 milligrams. That's how we should check it on the scale. What I like to do now is to kind of cut this tablet along its apple shaped vertically, like this. I do this, okay? And now you can check whether you cut them uniformly, okay? So the first piece is about 73 milligrams, that's fine. And the second one, 79 milligrams. So that's perfectly fine, okay? And now let's cut them in half. Let's do that. All right, two more pieces. And let's get the other half. It can happen that while you're cutting that, there's gonna be like very, very soft powder that is gonna like get wasted basically. So this is also the risk if you are cutting it too much. Here are the four pieces that I've cut so far. Uh, all should have uh, roughly about 1.25 milligram of uh, active ingredient finasteride in them. And they should also weigh about 40 milligrams per piece. Of course, it will not be the case. And let's just test it on the laboratory scale. I'm sure some of them will be more than 40 and some of them may be less than 40. Piece number one, 49. Okay, that's not that bad. 28. 41 and 30. As you have seen, it's 
pretty impossible to cut each tablet onto four equal pieces and uh, some of them will just be heavier some of them will be lighter I say as long as it is uh, as long as each piece weighs about 40 milligrams and less you are getting almost the same as uh, finasteride one milligram it's almost the same equivalent so uh, of course one of these pieces I cut uh, has about 47 milligrams so this is gonna be close to 1.5 milligram of finasteride equivalent so probably I'm gonna cut it in half uh, which I'm going to show you anyways soon uh, or I'm going to just refine it uh, a little bit so it weighs maybe 30 milligrams okay uh, if you want like perfect equivalent of uh, finasteride one milligram then each of these pieces should weigh about 30 milligrams just uh, for all the guys who want the perfect equivalent okay uh, for all the guys though who are interested in minimizing the side effect risk of finasteride even further while still enjoy its almost full effectiveness for pre uh, hair loss prevention uh, then we will be cutting each of these four pieces in one more half okay this is gonna get interesting uh, there's gonna be even more splitting up uh, some of these pieces uh, will have to be thrown away because sometimes it's gonna split up so badly it's gonna be just a very a lot of powder or a very light piece that the, uh, the scale is not gonna even recognize that piece and you will throw it away but on average if I try to cut each uh, tablet in eight pieces usually I have to throw away maybe two of them and I like five or six are usable so that's pretty fine uh, for me in order to avoid these small pieces uh, getting split up even further into soft soft powdery substance make sure also that your knife is really really sharp okay that way it's going to be less splitting up and uh, less loss of possibly the active ingredient finasteride that is also there i managed to cut uh, the tablet into eight pieces total I don't know if you can see it hopefully you can see it now here uh, as you can see some of them are not going to be usable because they are too small and the weight uh, the, the the laboratory scale will probably not even recognize them uh, but let's put them on the scale and let's weigh them each for each and let's decide which of them can be used and which of them cannot be used okay so the first one five milligrams see that's what I was talking about this can go to trash 17 that's great actually jumped up to 19 right now that's 25 that's also good it's 23 beautiful 29 mm, I may refine it a little bit so I'm gonna come on to like 20 20 ish zero or close to zero this one is very small I'm gonna throw it away this one is 17 pretty usable and the last one is 10 I'm gonna throw it away as well Alright guys, uh, let me sum it up for you. Well, if you decide to manage your hair loss with finasteride and you want to do it the least expensive way possible, then buying Proscar and cutting the tablets in either four or eight pieces is the way to go. Uh, what I found is that by cutting the tablet in four pieces, it's pretty doable uh, there's not going to be a lot of splitting up it can happen that some of the pieces will be larger than the others uh, so then you just refine them or make them a little bit lighter so they are somewhere between uh, so they are containing uh, between 1 to 1.25 milligram of finasteride as an active ingredient as you have seen so that's pretty doable if you want to minimize the side effects of finasteride even more though uh, then you need to cut the tablet into four more pieces so out of each tablet uh, there should come eight pieces now uh, what I found out was that it's pretty impossible to uh, get eight pieces out of each tablet because the more you cut the tablet the more you try to refine it uh, onto like m smaller and smaller pieces there's going to be a lot of splitting up some of the uh, substance will just just go away or escape as uh, as powder or turn into powder and really it's gonna uh, go to waste uh, you cannot use it uh, so effectively I end up with five to six pieces uh, on average from each tablet which are around 20 milligrams um, uh, per piece now these 20 milligram ish uh, pieces should have about 0.6 to 0.7 milligram of finasteride in them as an active ingredient which is pretty good uh, the dosage has been shown efficacious for uh, hair loss prevention for blocking DHT as much as uh, the one milligram finasteride dosage is able to do which is somewhere between 60 to 70 percent systemically and 50 percent uh, topically okay so uh, that was it for this video guys I think the last thing I'm gonna do is to just put these pieces into a custom -made 
homemade bottle where you store all these small pieces, uh, either 20 milligrams or 30 milligram pieces that you cut from the Proscar and start managing your hair loss pretty inexpensively.